Hello and good day, my brothers and sisters. Um, today is January 1st of 2020. Um, I pray everybody is blessed and, and doing well in the spirit. Um, I just want to share a, um, some encouragement with you all. But not really um, just off my own will. I was given permission to. I was sent a beautiful confirmation to be able to share this with you all. But um, I know that the the body of Christ is undergoing um, some of us brutal attacks. You know, the enemy is just on his, he's doing what he is doing, what he does. And he knows that father is raising up his end time warriors, his bridal army. He's threatened by our progression because he knows his time is short and he knows he knows that we're raising up. And so um, this is just encouragement. Um, it was given to me, you know, as I was um, undergoing some attacks in my personal life. But I hope that it encourages you as well, because we all need to remember that no matter um, how heavy or how brutal our battles are, that our Savior is always there. He's already laid down his life. He's already, um, you know, he, he's there. No matter how much noise the enemy is making, he is there and he speaks and he's there to comfort us. And so um, just want to give all praises and glory and honor to the Father in heaven, Father Yahuwah, to Yahushua HaMashiach, our Savior and our Lord, and um, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. And so, as you can see from the title, it's called, um, you know, I, I was just, just by what I was given, um, it's labeled Bridge Over Troubled Water because that's what he is. He's just amazing. And so, um, how this came about was on December the 20th, I was just, I was undergoing some spiritual attacks in my, you know, at my job before I even got to work that morning, the Holy Spirit was already speaking to me, trying to let me know. And I, I saw it, I saw the message, but it didn't really dawn on me till later after, um, I was getting through my day. I realized I had saw on the TV that morning that, it was on a commercial, some things you just can't control. <laughs> and I, I, it stuck with me, but I didn't really understand what was going on here until after things started happening. So um, that's a message, message within itself. Like some things we just can't control, you know, some things are just going to be how they are. So we have to remember our foundation. We have to know who we stand on and we have to rely on the word and on the scripture because it really does have power and we have to know our savior's voice when he speaks how he speaks you know this comes with being in relationship with him and so um on december the 20th like i said it was just a rough time at work and it was just blow after blow. Every time I thought I was catching my breath, something else came up. And then a good friend of mine, and I thank her. I already told her about this, but I thanked her. She called me to give me a word from the Holy Spirit. And at that time, um, in the midst of all this, like I said, the enemy was trying to, he was trying to play on my mind. He would love to devour our minds. That's why it's so important that we put on the helmet of salvation, that we really have armor, plead the blood of Christ over our minds, because he would love to just take over our minds. Because when he does that, it controls our responses. It controls our reactions and it keeps us from res responding with the fruit of the spirit and actually being able to focus on, you know, on the father's voice. On our, on our Savior's voice, knowing what he's saying to us in our times of trouble. And so my friend called me, and you know what she said to me? It wasn't something that I wanted to hear at that time, but I'm glad she did call me, and I thanked her for it. I'm thankful for her obedience. It's good to have friends and people in your life who are following 
the leading of the Holy Spirit. They send a word in due season. And it is no matter, you know, we have to be we have to be in our Christ like mind and understand whose voice is speaking. And she was telling me pretty much that um, the Ruach HaKadosh wanted her to call me. And she couldn't rest until she did. And she was pretty much telling me to be patient with the people at my job and family members and just other things concerning things that are happening in my life, to be patient with them. Because us being called and chosen, we're held to a higher standard. So he's watching us. He's watching our responses. He's watching how we uh, deal with our situations. And she told me that the Holy Spirit put in her spirit just um, Christ. He was saying, forgive them for they know not. And that was not something that I, you know, I wanted to hear at the time because I, it was just one thing after another. And I just, like I said, the enemy was trying to, he was trying to um, bring in some negativity into my mind. And I was having to uh, remember scriptures of peace throughout the day. I'm sorry. Remember scriptures of peace throughout the day. And so moving on, um, the reason why I have this picture here is because the father speaks to me through the screensavers at my job, at my home, anywhere, wherever I have a, any kind of electronic device with the screensaver. He always uses the screensavers to speak and they always perfectly give revelation to my spiritual walk and progress. So I look for them daily, no matter, you know, whether I'm at home or at work, I'm looking at the screensavers because he always speaks. And so the uh, on December 23rd, I came back to work. And before I went into work that morning, I put on my, you know, I prayed and I was I was armored up, you know, um, better prepared for the, the, the day because I remember some things you just can't control. So no matter what I was going to have to face, I was going to I made up my mind that I was going to go in with the right mindset. Right. So uh, this particular screensaver was on the screen on December the 20th as well. And I couldn't understand it for the life of me because my focus was off. I did not get it. I didn't get it. I could not put it together. But when I walked into work on December 23rd and I got ready to sit down at that computer, the Holy Spirit dropped it in my spirit so quickly, bridge over troubled water. And I instantly, it was like I had an epiphany, like the light bulb went off. Like he was saying, I'm here. Holy Yahushua was telling me, I'm here. I am the bridge over this troubled water. He's there no matter what we're going through. And look, I'm going to zoom in on this picture. Do you see where it says when traffic jams become truly insufferable? How awesome is that? He's letting us know when it becomes unbearable, he's still there. (laughs) And up in the corner, it says pretty spectacular, right? Uh, Pretty spectacular bridge, right? Yes, he's spectacular. He's marvelous. And there is none other. There's nothing more miraculous than him and the father. And so to as confirmation that I understood that this was really a message. Look at the time. It says 950. Um, I'll just go ahead and skip the. Uh, it says 950 right here. It says to confirm. To secure. I confirm, ratify, secure, establish. Uh, pass I guarantee and look it says properly to walk where it is solid (laughs) hence make sure fully reliable reliable guaranteed to walk where it is solid come on he's the bridge over troubled water when we're going through he has already he has already made the way brothers and sisters he's already he's already made the way he says greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. He's already laid down his life. This is just amazing. I was just, and I didn't even catch that until December the 26th, I believe. I was actually trying to record this. It just wasn't time yet, I guess. But um, th- that was a confirmation right there. And so this, what you see on the screen, happened on December the 24th. The date on that notebook says December 25th of 2018. So almost exactly a, like one day shy of a year exactly I found this notebook as I was cleaning my room 
And as I began to read it, I was just awestruck because if you, as you can see, the first line says bridge over troubled water. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I couldn't remember what I was dealing with on this day, but it must have been something where I needed to remind myself of what he is for me in my life, what he is for all of us in our lives. You see that he's a rock in a weary land. He's a father to the fatherless, shelter in a time of storm, friend when you're friendless, a doctor in the sick room, prince of princes, the bright and morning star. You know, you just read on, comfort when you're lonely, burden bearer, he takes our burdens. He's a counselor, he's wonderful, the prince of peace. That's in Isaiah, the everlasting father, the mighty God, the name above names, and demons tremble at that name. And, and <laughs> power, healing, forgiveness, he's joy, he's deliverance, he's hope, he's peace, he's our redeemer, he's our vindicator. He was the perfect sacrifice. And I just put he is, he is, because he is, brothers and sisters. And I put he washed away my sins, nothing but the blood of Christ. How awesome is that, that he will allow me to find this notebook one day shot of a year ago you know while I'm going through something where he's telling me he's the bridge over troubled water I hope this is encouraging for you because he is everything that we need already brothers and sisters and the lesson that um and, and like I said while I'm finding this notebook the enemy is still trying to play on my mind he's still trying to you know wanting to get in my thoughts and bring negativity into me and we have to be really careful and understanding whose voice is speaking because just like the father speaks the enemy does too and he would love for us to believe but i rebuke him in yahushua hamashiach's holy name and i plead the blood of christ over our minds our bodies and our spirits and all that we go through because he has no authority over it and so as i was saying the lesson and the understanding i received from this is to make sure that we are listening to um that we are listening to the still small but very loud voice of the Savior. He says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. He says this, you know, when we know him, then we, we will recognize who is really speaking to us and which voice we should follow. He's reminding us that no matter the turbulence, as long as we listen to his voice and no matter how much the enemy is making, no matter how much noise Satan is trying to put in our mind, in our life, you know, Christ is our foundation that we walk on to get to that other side. He is the foundation to guide us to the other side, brothers and sisters. So let us make sure that our foundation is secure. And I was led to Isaiah 26, I mean, excuse me, 28 and 16. And it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a corn, I mean, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a secure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. That means he that believes on this foundation, who is secured on this foundation, shall not be moved. They shall not, you know, get impatient when we're going through our trials. And it's hard sometimes not to. But he's saying when we rely on him, he is the sure foundation. We will not fall. We will not sink. He will uphold us with the right hand of his righteousness. That's the scripture that he gave me out of Isaiah. And then as my last confirmation for this message, and then I'll end it. 805. I was receiving the number 805 while going through all of this because the enemy was really attacking me. Okay. In the Strong's Concordance, look what it says. It's pretty much the same as the 950. It says, I make safe secure fast you know properly make safe use of s securely fixing the prisoner's feet on wooden stocks what i understood out of this was that he is making our feet firm in him so that when the winds blow in the like the scripture says when the when the winds blow in the, in the way you know the the waves of the sea they're they're the waves of we're tossed you know we're not we're not wavering is what i'm saying um i think it's matthew chapter 7 verses 24 through 27 you know we won't fall 24 and 25 i'm sorry we won't fall if he is our foundation 
You know, our houses, if they built on the rock, then no matter what the storm is, we will not be knocked over and we won't fall. So, brothers and sisters, that's it for this message, and I pray that it has blessed you and encouraged you. I was led to share it. I thought it was just something personal at first or something to share with, um, you know, brothers and sisters that I commune with and close friends at first, but I did 